What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. We're gonna start out just kind of walking around and see if we can find anything interesting out here today. A Chevy Impala, it's got some wheels on it, but no thank you. Oh wow, and those wheels did not, uh, wow. That didn't fit that car at all. Looks like they had to lift up the suspension or the body a little bit just so the fenders didn't eat into those uh, eat into those tires. Anyway, we're going to wander around a little bit, see what we can find. I see an Audi, but it's sitting over there in a swamp. I don't know that I really want to walk into that soupy mess. Hold on. Here's a Ford Fusion. Is this a hybrid? Let's take a quick look at this one real quick. This is a 2015 Ford Fusion. No, it's not a hybrid. We're going to walk away from that one. And uh, let's see what else we can find. Oh, oh, well, beautiful old Accord, or at least it was before it got just slammed in the front, man. That's sad. That's sad. You don't see enough of these running around anymore. You don't see enough of any of these cars running around anymore. You know, unfortunately, I think since the inception of cars, they've always been kind of disposable. I know there used to be people that would hold on to their cars for 30, 40 years, but it's been a long, long time since any of that, guys. Everybody wants the latest and greatest, the newest technology, and, you know, I'm preaching to the choir here. I know you guys already know this, and obviously, I have a couple of relatively new cars myself, so I'm guilty as well. We all want the latest and greatest, but to me, there really is something about some of these older vehicles, man. Uh, they, there should be more of them. There should be more of them running around. Unfortunately, it's like the older they get, the harder it is to find parts, and uh, the harder it is, if you can't work on it yourself, to find people that even know how to work on it. People that have the equipment to uh, run diagnostics on some of this old stuff, guys. It, uh, it gets difficult. Let me get through this soupy mess out here, and uh, we'll come back when we find something worth looking at. Well, this is my favorite area, and I'm hoping that they got some goodies for us back here. This is usually where you're going to find all the old stuff that nobody wants. Well, what I mean is all of the old stuff that I want. <laughs> nobody wants most of the stuff they got sitting back here. This is a lot of the donated stuff and uh, I personally love it. I'm not, I'm not seeing it, man. Usually this is where it's at right here. Uh, you got a, well, we got a, we got an, an old Mustang 5.0. We got a Scion that's crunched. Where's the donated stuff, man? There's my GMC Jimmy. The S15 still sitting here. Hasn't gone up for sale yet. Same thing with my S10, man. This uh, this S10 still sitting here, guys. This has been here forever. They won't sell it. It's actually gone up for sale several times. Um, I've bid on it, but they 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 apparently think it's worth a ton of money, and it's not. It's pretty ratted out, you know. Um, would I drive it? Absolutely, because I don't care. Um, but for most people, when you take into consideration auction fees and everything, that, that ain't something most people are going to be interested in buying. Now, what about this one? Mercury Grand Marquis, man. Unfortunately, the window's left down on it. Was this wrecked? See, it's been a while since we've had a decent Panther platform on the channel. This actually looks pretty nice. This looks like a grandma's car. Hold up. Wait a minute. Maybe I found some. I'm dying to bid on something. I really am. And that's not the way you should bid on cars, guys. You shouldn't do that. 2001 Grand Marquis. It doesn't say if it runs and drives. It doesn't say anything about it on there. Let me pull this up on my, on my list real quick. It's even got Michelin white wall tires. Come on, man. This is it right here. So here's what I found. It says that it's a charity car, run and drive, 112,000 miles. It's donated, clean title, uh, run and drive, all that good stuff. But it's not for sale, unfortunately. This one, too, is, is not up for sale. Um, apparently, they're waiting on the title for this one. And that, guys, I'm telling you, that can take a while. <laughs> a car like this could easily sit here for three, four, five, six months, a year. Um, waiting on somebody to provide the title. I'm going to go ahead and roll this window up, though. I sure don't want this car sitting with the window down. Um, we're going to take a look at it ourselves, though. Oh, man. I want this. This is so comfortable. It smells good. It's got power. Digital dash. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Digital everything, man. Look, digital radio, digital clock, digital climate. 
control. You've got cup holders that don't look like they've ever been used. A cigarette lighter, that's never been touched. Wow, ashtray, other than putting your oil change sticker in it, never been touched. There's even money sitting in there. I bet it's got the books. It does, of course it's got the books. It's got the code for the door, which I'm not gonna show you, um, but it does have the door code. Another PowerPoint down there, Grand Marquee LS Precision Track. Oh man, it's got almost a full tank of gas, guys. Would you look at that? Wow, 281 miles of range on three quarters of a tank. Runs great. Traction control, adjustable foot pedals. Important window works. Less important window works, it's complaining because I don't have a seat belt on. We're not going anywhere, man. Uh, no need for the for the dinging, we're not going anywhere. See if I can adjust the seat. Yeah, the seat controls work. Backward, forward, recline, and back, yeah. Wow, what a car. You know we gotta pop the trunk. You got these uh, these great dual sun visors. Some people don't know what these are for. Um, you slide this one over to protect the side of your face here, your eyes over here, and then you got this one for right here in front of you. And then if you don't need them, you just fold them up out of the way, just like that. How nice. It, it, does, it smells wonderful in here. Clear sight. Radio works. Hood. This car is amazing. I love these old Panthers. I really do. This one is in great shape. Are you kidding me? You've got the spare tire, all right? You've got a, a duster to dust off. Ooh, boy, I, yeah. A duster. You've got a bucket with gloves, tire iron. You got some 520 motor oil, a little, little broom, a Super 8 motel. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> Somebody loved this car. I guarantee it was an older car. Air suspension. Wow, look how easy that closes. Let's take a quick peek under the hood here. I love those white wall Michelin tires. I popped the hood, did it not? Uh... Come on, there we go. Sometimes they stick. 4.6 litre V8. Fur is like a kitten. Sounds great. That looks new. Looks like somebody's done some work to the air conditioning. In fact, the air conditioner is on and running. And it's quiet. Listen to that. Oh, man. Wow. Interstate battery. Yeah. Okay. Well, heck, you know what? I keep thinking. I keep thinking. My daughter needs a minivan. No, she doesn't. She needs one of these. This is what she needs right here. A Grand Marquis or a, a Lincoln Town Car. This is what she needs. You can fit three kids back there. For sure, you can fit three kids back there. We got two key fobs. We've got two keys. Do the fobs work? Of course they do. Yeah, of course they do. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, I know an old Panther is not everybody's cup of tea. They're not exciting. They're not particularly interesting. And I'm telling you from a driver's perspective, one of the best damn budget cars you can buy today. All right, let's continue. Let's see what else, because I'm already seeing something I'm interested in right here. You see that red Grand Am? Yeah, I love an old Grand Am. This is, you know, that's not too bad. Oh, tons of air freshener. Oh, never mind. Exactly, here we go again. I tell you guys this all the time. This happens to me almost every time I find a car I like. Almost every time I see one that I like, it looks good on the side, and it doesn't matter. Like these rows, they, they're lopsided, right? So, so one row goes one direction, the other row goes the other direction. It never fails. No matter which row I'm on, I end up walking up on a car that looks good from an angle that I'm coming to it from. And then when I get to the other side, it's wrecked. I mean, obviously I don't want this car. It's completely crushed in the back. No, thank you. Let's see, uh, let's see what else we can find. Damn, that sucks. I'm a sucker for a Grand Am, I really am. All right, continuing on. Maybe we'll find something of interest down this way. That, I think that Grand Marquis is probably gonna be the highlight for me of this video. Uh, but I'm a sucker for, for the really old, old uh, not interesting crap. There's your crushed up Mustang. See, it's just, 
most of the stuff is not stuff that I am particularly interested in. The Dodge Shadow, that's another perfect example of a car that uh, if it ever goes up for sale, I'd love to bid on it, but they don't ever seem to want to sell it. Great, and now the hood is, it's like somebody shoved something under the hood and the hood is stuck. So that's great. That didn't used to be that way. I know, again, not an interesting car, probably not great for video content, but at the same... <gasps> Holy grail of minivans, are you kidding me? Sorry, 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 yes. Someday, if it goes up for sale, I would love to buy this car. I don't care if it's interesting or not. I would love to buy this car, fix it, and drive it. But, but would you look at this? When's the last time you've seen one of these? This is a Boeing vehicle. Are you kidding? This is from Boeing. It still says Boeing on the side of it. Oh, no way. No way. The Aerostar, guys. Do you remember the Aerostar? Do you? Do you remember the Ford Aerostar? XLT, which means base model. It's got nothing. It's got poverty caps. It's got dry rotted tires. It's had some body work at some point back here. I don't care. Oh my God. Oh, it's missing all of the seats. Well, that's all right. That's all right. I mean, obviously it belonged to Boeing, so it was uh, it was probably more of a hauler type of vehicle. It doesn't look too bad on the inside, though. Really, it, it doesn't. I mean, it needs a headliner. But the door operates smoothly. It doesn't smell bad. Wow, hold on, that didn't close. Let's try that again. Oh, that still, still didn't close. Let's try. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight the damn thing. Would you look at it though? Seriously, this has got to bring back memories for so many of you, just like it does me. A good old Aerostar. What's under the hood? Couldn't tell you. Don't remember. Probably a Vulcan three-liter V6. That'd be my guess. It's a non-runner, obviously. It's a pedal car, which means somebody probably had this thing sitting behind their house for 20 years. And uh Somebody got tired of it sitting. I guess it's half keys. Oh, the ignition's busted. Yeah, somebody, uh, somebody, well, it's not busted. They just took the keys out of it. It's got no keys. You got some OCB cigarettes in there. Never heard of those, but you down with OCB? Yeah, you know me. I don't think that's exactly how the song went, but cruise control, that's aftermarket. The hood doesn't seem to want to open either. There's wood screws holding the door panel together the hood does not want to does not want to open there it is there it is let's just take a quick look oh yeah i recognize a vulcan engine every time i see one man there it is the good old three liter spider webs the battery's disconnected it used to be a different color it was kind of a turquoise color looks like it had a bg treatment that's always good I'm going to put the hood prop up. We're also going to check the mileage on this. So this wouldn't be too hard to get started with a flathead screwdriver. Let's see what the trans fluid... Ooh, trans fluid is brown. Yeah, oh, that was one of the weak points of just about everything that Ford made for a long time. They did not make good transmissions. Uh, not at all. Let's see if we can find the oil dipstick. It's over here. Spider webs everywhere. So you can see this thing is not run and forever oil it's got some you know it's decent looking about what you'd expect not clean but not too dirty either it's brown not black if i could get this back in here come on okay well you're gonna you're gonna do me like that huh i mean obviously it's probably got rotten gas i wouldn't expect that it's gonna fire up it's gonna need a little bit of work and truthfully who wants something like this any anymore i do I do. Um, a little dusty. Yeah, I don't see anything in there. Battery was disconnected. I'm sure it's dead. We'll put it on anyway. Wait. Do I hear relays clicking? Hold on. Hold on. Yes, we do. We do. Oh, tell me there's a screw. 68,000 miles. 
It's only got 68,000 miles. Tell me there's a dadgum screwdriver in here somewhere. Man, there's not. No, there's not. That sucks. What if I, do I have a key? I don't. My key, I drove, a, I drove the Cadillac here. It doesn't have a traditional key. This sucks. Yeah, I don't, uh, I, my Cadillac does, it's a Corvette key. There is a key in it and I took it out and I tried to use it and it's, it's, not, it's not gonna work. There's, it's just not gonna work. That sucks. Um, probably a, a lever to release the fuel somewhere to open the fuel door. Is it electric? Oh man, I want this so, oh, screwdriver, sort of. No, not at all. <laughs> Dang it. I thought we were on to something there, guys. I did. Um, you got to get way down in there, and unfortunately, I don't have a, I don't have a screwdriver that's going to get into there. Oh, we got some, uh, some Riverwind Casino playing cards. Comes with it, and then the ashtray, the old school Ford, uh, without a tape deck. Very. Uh, see, the ignition is on. All you got to do is have a screwdriver in there to crank it. That's it. That's all you need. Well, anyway. I don't see a fuel release door and the battery is now dead. That sucks. I was really, uh, really wanting to check this out a little bit closer. Yeah, you're going to need some, there's got to be some kind of a lever to open that. I really wanted to smell it. I'm going to put this on the list, even though, uh, well, even though I don't need this and I'm sure dropping the tanks is going to be a ton of fun. I can't help but be interested in something like this. Just an old ford aerostar man these things were so cool moving on guys i'm gonna i'm gonna have to buy this i don't i'm gonna think on it a little bit but look at this 475 dollars is the buy it now 475 dollars is the buy it now on this ah that is that is hard to pass up and i know after fees and getting it transported down to ar headquarters probably not worth it what is this it's got batteries and a switch. What would that be? That's bizarre. I don't know. The back is locked, it looks like. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Is this really what we need on the channel right now? Is it really a Ford Aerostar? <laughs> you guys comment below. You tell me what you think. But I'm honest to God, I am half tempted to buy this old van right now. Let's move on. Let's see what else we can find. You never know where some of these gyms are. Ooh, is that a Saab minivan? I've never seen one of these before. I didn't know Saab made a minivan. I've never seen one. I'm not, I'm not joking. A 2007 Saab 97X. Really? I had no idea. Advanced Remarketing Services. Doesn't say anything else about it. Hail damage, significant hail damage. What do we got back here? Tape, that's always good. A 4.2 liter I. What does I stand for? I don't know. Let's just take a quick look. I'm not overly interested in this, but this has got to be rare. It's got a DVD player with a DVD sticking out of it. Black leather tear smells like mold. Ooh. Yeah, it stinks to high heaven. Yeah, I mean, it looks just like a Saab car. It's just bigger. I don't know. I, I Honest to God, I have never seen one of these before. I knew that Saab made cars. I did not know that Saab ever made, like, I don't know if they called this, like, an SUV, I, I guess, is what it is. Very strange. I don't know. I kind of like it. Let's look behind it because I, I saw a Ford, an old Ford truck with running boards. Anytime I see some of these old cars, I got to come back here and look at it. So this is going to be a car donation center type of deal. It's got, it's got plenty of dings. It's got flat tires. It's got the long bed. It's got the long stroke is what they're trying to tell you on the back of this thing, man. That's a Dub Richardson Ford, Oklahoma City. I don't even think they're in business anymore, guys. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? How did I miss this? This is an S10 Durango. Oh my God, this video just took a turn. Are you serious? <sighs> okay, hold up. 
this is way cooler than the F-150, but we'll get back to the F-150 in just a minute. So automatic, four wheel drive, seat covers, jump seats. It smells good. Does that have keys? Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Look at that old school radio. Wow. Why do I have a feeling this isn't a stock 2.8 liter? Dead. No? Actually, it may be a stock 2.8 liter. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a V8 under the hood, does it? Not to me. Let's pop the hood. I think that's definitely a 2.8 liter under there. All right, yeah, that's the that's the stock V6. I want this. We've got a Ken, Kenda Kevlar Clever Cleaver. Sorry, I can't I can't I can't read. Is what it comes down to. Ken, Kenda Cleaver MT. Tires look brand new. So it's like this thing was running, and then it wasn't. That smells like fresh gas. That is not rotten. If it is rotten, it sure don't smell like it. Let's pop the hood. This should be a uh, throttle body injected 2.8 liter V6, maybe a 4.3. Yeah, it's a 2.8, ugh, 2.8 liter. Oh, it's carbureted. And somebody put a new carburetor on her. That is a new carb, relatively new anyway. No joke, it still has the AC compressor and everything. This thing is a beauty. Don't do it, Randy. I said I was getting away from these. I did. Somebody put a new radiator in it. That's new, relatively. Full of bright green coolant. Air compressor, looks like it's newer as well. Power steering pump looks like it's newer. There's a fuel filter right there. It's got gas. She just ain't firing up. Let's take a peek. Let's see what's going on under here. Uh, what is that, a fuel pressure regulator? Looks like an adjustable FPR. Let's just see if the choke is uh, binding up or anything. Nope, butterflies are closed. You know what, I'll bet she's just not spinning enough to fire. I'll bet if I put a jump on this, I'll bet you money she'll run. Battery's an eight of 2023. You already know, guys, you, you already know. If you think that I'm not gonna bid on this, you're out of your mind. Uh, what do we got over here? We got a kick down cable, that's important for the transmission. <laughs> that's. That's very important for the transmission. You can burn your transmission up if you don't have that installed properly. Speaking of, how's it look? It's not the worst. It's not the worst, but it certainly isn't the best. All right, guys, let me get a jump pack. Don't worry, we'll get back to the Ford here in just a minute. But this, this thing is special. All right, we got the booster pack on here. Let's see if it makes any difference. Oh, please run. I can't explain why, but I want this thing so bad. Uh, she ain't gonna run, is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's trying, guys. She's trying. I don't want to kill my booster pack. Nah, she ain't gonna run. And I don't wanna overheat that starter. And I don't wanna kill my booster pack. Still, man, what a cool old truck. I'd love to get this thing fired up. Uh, we'll give it one more shot. Nah. All right, all right, that's enough. Horn works. Good Lord, it's locked up there. Very cool old truck, guys. Uh, even though it doesn't run, I guess this is locked too, yeah? Even though it doesn't run, this is something I'd still be interested in. Old crank windows and big old tires. It's a little beat up, but this thing is awesome. Oh, wow. This says Ada, what does that say? I can't even read that. Ada Tire Center. Wow, 
this truck's got some history she's got some history all right guys what do you think of the chevy durango i think i want to see this come home and i want to try to get it running all right back to the ford uh let's see what it is as i said earlier donation i saw that thing over there i just i couldn't help it i got sidetracked i know it's beat up guys it's it's beat up it doesn't run it looks like someone was working on it though man i mean fresh gas it's got a new carburetor fresh battery it still doesn't run so maybe it's a compression issue could be something wrong with the motor could be something wrong with the carburetor I, I i don't know but i'm excited about this anyway this is a 96 f-150 178,000 mile donation supposed to be a run to drive got some hail damage there's uh poop all over the hood so that's you know if i could find the hood release it's down here thankfully let's lift that up without getting my hands all over the poop it's got the 5.0 all right i mean it looks good under here let's take a look at the rest of it the truck's riddled with dings and dents obviously a flat tire there's a bald tire there she's pretty banged up guys looks like it's been sitting a while still not a bad looking truck though and it says it runs and drives you got the long bed you got the single cab you know just you and two other people can fit in here it's scratched up pretty good this was a work truck for sure that doesn't bother me one bit because that means it's a perfect car for just driving you know you don't have to worry about some rot chips or a ding here this one's already got you covered man it's got enough dings and dents to last you a whole nother lifetime let's see if it wants to fire up or if we're gonna have to uh if we're gonna have to put a jump on it i've really put the hurting on my booster pack on <laughs> that other truck oh it, i just now breathed in it smells like something's living in here is what it smells like well there's lots of papers in the glove box oh well ashtray has definitely been used uh, a time or two come on get in there there we go okay don't ever do that again yeah she's dead as doornail guys let's throw a jump on this one real quick See if we can get a running. All right, you ready? I mean, it says it's a run and drive, so I have no doubt that it actually does. Oh. Let's see. Probably need to prime it a little bit. Let's see if that makes any difference. Ooh, ooh. That didn't sound good, did it? Let's see, Jiffy Lube, oil change, 179, 433, date 330 of 21, and it was supposed to return 529 of 21. So, looks like it's been sitting for about three years. Yeah, I bet it's got some rotten gas in it. Uh-oh. Said it's a run and drive. I mean, it started... Let's try the rear tank. Sometimes that does make a difference. <laughs> Come on. No, I didn't like the rear tank. Put it back on the front. Cycle it a couple times. She ain't gonna run. Nah, she ain't gonna run. This one's been sitting, guys. I guarantee you that front tank's got some varnish. I promise you that's what it is. Oh yeah, look how dirty that is. She's been sitting there. Let's take a quick smell. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, that's not fresh gas. <laughs> that ain't fresh at all. I'm surprised it's still doing anything. Now thankfully this truck's low enough on fuel that I would be willing to bet money if you put about five gallons of fresh gas in it, get you some high octane, like some 91, 93 octane gasoline, you put some fresh gas in this thing, I'll, I'll bet you money, she'll run. Uh, whether the transmission's any good or not, that's a whole different story. Um, let's just take a quick peek at the trans fluid. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's still got some color to it. It's not burned up yet. We have any pressure on the cooling system? No. 
Let's just take a peek. What's going? Ooh, rusty. Oh boy. Almost bet you that had water in it. <laughs> Wonder if we got any freeze plugs blown out. I guess that's one of the risks you take when you're buying these cheap old vehicles, right? I don't know, guys. I think this truck is one that I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave this one alone. I am far more interested in that one. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.